Hello everybody. Today I am going to go ahead and upgrade my Intex pump system from one and a quarter inch outlets from the pool to one and a half inch. Now just as a reminder if you haven't seen any of my other videos this is a best way pool. It's a 20 by uh, 20 foot by 48 inch round. It's a little bit of a beast. I like it. Um, maybe not be still some people, but hey, but the pool did come with um, quarter inch, excuse me, one and a quarter inch outlets. Actually, I guess they're called inlets, inlets to the, uh, uh, into the filter. And it came with these one and a quarter, which were to be teed into this particular T, uh, which has two one and a quarter inch inlets down to a one and a half inch uh, to the actual uh, pump and when I did initially get the pool one of the first things I did was I grabbed I purchased from the local pool store from uh, Leslie's pool store actually um, Leslie's pool supply I, I pulled I purchased these um, type B adapters and the way these work is um, basically this is a a rubber uh, seal inside here. Get a good angle for you. This is a rubber seal inside here. This little piece of rubber, and you take that rubber seal and you bite it right over to the uh, off the little, I guess, nipple that comes out of the pool, and then you just cinch this on into it, and it allows you to take, in this case, the um, plunge valve, uh, plunger valve that I purchased, which goes into one and a half inch pipes. I had that on initially and I was noticing that when I did do it, that I wasn't getting a lot of suction uh, to my skimmer. My pump's not on right now, so there's definitely no suction going on. And I was also noticing that I was getting air in the actual filter. I could see air bubbles showing in here. And that wasn't a good thing to me. I, I just, I, I try to get as best as I can. And in this case, I just didn't like the air bubbles. So, what I found the solution was to get back uh, to the one and a quarter inch pipes for now and purchase some upgrades. So my intention here is to continue using this um, T-junction, which still has one and a quarter uh, to, to one and a half on the bottom, and a different set of Type B adapters. So what I purchased was right here from uh, Amazon and I got these diff these different types of type B adapters I got four of them all right and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with those now the other thing I, I did instead of using the, the plastic uh, I guess clamps that come with them I, I just don't trust them <laughs> I did go to Amazon and I purchased uh, some stainless steel uh, clamps these were about $10 for a 10 pack. I'll be using four of them. You know, heck, maybe I'll use some in the future for other things. These, uh, these type B adapters, I want to say they were $16 for four of them. So, um, the other reason I'm doing this video is I also noticed that when I was looking for any sort of how to on these uh, type B adapters, I could not find anything on YouTube or Google or anything of anyone who actually, you know, showing how to do them. Yes, many people have used them, but they never said, okay, here's how to do it. And I am a first time pool owner, so I didn't know. So I went and bought those other type Bs. And the downside of the other type Bs, just again for me, is that when you use them, I'll grab this here, when you use them and they're against the pool, there's a lot of weight in the water of the pool, so it kinks it downwards and just bends downwards. And I've seen a lot of people like tie string, or I even tried to do some PVC pipe right there to try to give it support. I didn't like the way it works. So I like these ones here because they're definitely a smaller profile and won't stick out from the pool and hopefully won't have too much more um, weight. So what I'm gonna do here is show you, I guess, step-by-step step how I'm gonna do this. I couldn't find anybody who had done this already. Hopefully this will help you out if you are a new pool owner or want to upgrade your pool from one and a quarter to one and a half inch pipes. The other thing I will be doing next season likely is I'll just change this outright. I'll just, 
uh, do what everybody else does. They cut out the circle and they get the actual one and a half inch, um, uh, you know, fitting. But for now, this is what we're going to do for this year. So what we're going to need here, like I said, is uh, the hose clamps. If you don't have hose clamps, um, you definitely can use the clamps that come with the adapters. Um, my pump came with uh, two of these. These are just uh, stoppers for the uh, outlets to the filter. So I'll be using these. And I am also going to be uh, cinching down the hose clamps. Um, you can use a, a flathead screwdriver if you want to. But um, in this case here, uh, this is a 5 16 um, uh, hex wrench, basically. That uh, Sorry, I can't get it focused there. But uh, we're going to put that on there to cinch down the hose clamp. So I'll show you here how this works. So stand by. All right, so the first thing we're going to have to do here is to take out the, um, at least disengage the hose here from the actual skimmer. So to do that, it's real simple. Um, usually the hose just comes right off the uh, this, this blue adapter. Probably the whole thing is going to come out. It did. That's not a big deal. So I'm going to let that dangle here for a second. And then we're going to take... The, uh, the, the black plug that I was showing you earlier. We're going to actually put that into the hole to stop the water. And I've already done that on the other one there. So that's the first thing. Okay. Now, once you've done that, you should be able to take this off. Now, before I undo this one, because water is going to start coming out, as you can see, it kind of has is already because I messed with it. Um, first thing you also want to do is shut off uh, the inlet to the pool, or the outlet to the pool, I should say, because this is going to create water pressure, um, and water is basically going to come down this tube all the way through into here, and then you're going to have water coming in from the outlets, but I've just shut off the outlets here. So we want to make sure that all the water can clear out, and the water doesn't just keep on coming through the pipes. So I've gone ahead and plugged those up, so I'm going to take these off. I'm going to get a little bit of water here, but that's okay. Alright, there's the one. I'll go over to the other one. There's the two. Okay. Then we'll go actually to the T-junction here. Get this up, up over here. Alright. And we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take off this clamp right here in this clamp as well and I'm just going to disengage that and I'll show you what it looks like so stand by okay so we've taken off the old adapters and put on the new ones and as you can see all I did really was um, it goes right on here and it cinches down with the uh, hose clamp all right so it's cinched on there pretty good so what's going to happen now is the uh, the plunger valve is going to attach to that and I'll show you how I do that and I also did that on the T-junction here so this T-junction now also has the Type-B adapters uh, with the hose clamp uh, attached to it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take each of the hoses, one and, inch, one and a half inch hoses, and we're going to cinch them on. We're really just going to screw it straight on um, to not only the, uh, the plunger valve, but also onto um, the actual T-junction. So. For example, I'm just going to take half of this right here just to show you. Now we just take this and it just screws right onto that. And we do the same thing on the other one, on the other side. And literally on the other side of this hose, we take this um, plunger valve and we attach it. To that so I'll show you what that looks like here as soon as I've done screwed it in okay so we've gone ahead and attached now the plunger valve to the new type B adapter just screwed it right on in all right the other part is screwed uh, into the tube the bottom is it comes all the way up into the T junction all right and I create a little uh, P 
PVC little shelf, if you will, here to, to take the weight of the PVC junction so it's not just sitting on the ground. People step on it and trip on it. It was just a couple bucks to, to put together. But you can see the other end of the hose screws into the other Type B adapter, which is clamped on to the actual T. And the same thing happens to this one, which comes up and over here. So now we're going to go ahead and test to make sure that it works. So to do that, we're going to do a couple things. Number one, we're going to turn back on this valve. We're going to open this valve back, back up. Make sure I got that all the way. Yep. All right, we're going to open up this valve all the way. Then we're going to take out the black stopper, which I already did, or just did, I should say. On this one here, we're going to open up the valve. All right. But I already took out the stop stopper because what I didn't tell you earlier was to make sure that before you clamp on that um, adapter here, that you have your, um, basically there's a housing, a gray housing that goes in there. That way the actual hose clamp can clamp around it. So I put that on there. All right. So now we just take... Um, the uh, hose here and we put it back on like so okay so we've got water going in open water going in open we've got this open we've got no bubbles in there that's a good sign and we'll go ahead and turn this on and should still have no bubbles we have water coming out. I have an eyeball inlet. So the water is going to basically be pushed all around in the clockwise motion, all the way around the pool until it gets to the actual um, skimmer. So let's see what the skimmer does. Okay, so you've got the skimmer here and it's not on yet. I just turned the filter off by the way, so you can get see what's going on. So you can see all this debris, leaves and stuff from the trees. Nothing's on. So now we're going to go ahead and turn on the actual pump and see what happens to that skimmer. So I'll zoom in here on that. And it sucked it right down, which is what you want it to do. And we'll come back over here and check it out. Okay, now one of the problems I had with the skimmer um, was I wasn't getting enough suction. As you can see, there's a little bit more suction. Well, I don't know if you can see that there's more. There was there's more suction than there was before I turned it on, of course. But when I had the one and a quarter tubing on there, it was getting about this much suction, maybe a little bit less actually. So this is actually picking up a little bit more suction. Um, so that's a good thing. So I can keep both of the uh, the filter um, inlets open if I wanted to but what I wanted to do also was be able to come over here at any given point close this valve all right create more suction and then boom I've got lots of suction now it's just sucking it right in and I wasn't getting this much suction with the one and a quarter inch tubes so this is a really good thing because now you can see it is just pulling it all in, which is exactly what you want. You want to just pull it all in from, the, from all around the pool. All right, it's going to suck it all in there. And that's the ideal scenario. It's just going to bring it in, okay? So that was, that was enabled because I was able to close this valve now and actually create a little bit more suction than there was. So I hope this helps you out and uh, definitely helped me out. Now I've got a skimmer that's skimming. I've got one and a half inch tubes going into my pump and give this about, no joke, at this rate probably about 20 minutes and this pool will be totally skim clean. All right, I hope that helps you out. Good luck. Talk to you soon.